locate some coyotes before we set up on them. We heard one here the other night. It's just a single, so we're going to see if he'll answer us before we go to the trouble going in there setting up. If we hear him, it'll give us a better idea how to set up and where we need the wind and stuff like that. So, Carrie Wayne going to howl on the three reed right quick, see if we can get a response. Anytime, anytime. <laughs> yes, sir. He's done. That's quick. You can't beat that. <laughs> I can throw my gun and hit the truck. I don't know if that sucker's done or not. Pop him again, pop him again, pop him again. No sense in taking no chances.
done now. Yeah, I can literally throw the gun and hit the truck down there. Hey, let me, <laughs> let me pan around right quick. And I'm gonna show y'all this, which I pretty well recorded live time, the whole, whole deal. See where Kerry Wayne's sitting? Pick his camera up, move it around so y'all can see what happened. There's the truck. We're 25 yards from the truck, just inside the woods. We'll get that thing, drag him up here, and then we'll fill in the gaps for everybody. Kind of tell them what happened and how it worked out. I think the hunt's pretty self-explanatory, but we'll fill in the gaps if we can. Still see trash and stuff in the frame. We're so close to the road. That's just stuff people throw out their windows. Beer cans and trash. We're right across the ditch bank and got a coat in our lap. The sucker got a pretty white tip. Yeah. Like a lot of them around here. <laughs> Boy, that was quick. Dang right. About like that hunt we, me and Kreiner and Kevin had yesterday morning. It happened about that fast. Well, here's the deal. Me and Kerry Wayne have already made one stand this morning. And uh, same thing, we located, we had to do a little moving on those coats. Called in a triple, got one of them. It's getting hot and we said we'll make one more stand. So uh, we run up here to, to this spot where we'd located uh, a single cow two or three nights ago uh, with uh, Steve Kreiner and Kevin, his cameraman, a dog soldier. And we didn't hunt those coyotes the other day, so uh, we run up here. We said if they howl, we'll, we'll make a move on them, set up. If they don't, we'll go to the house and call it the morning. We get out of the truck, and you'll see on the, on the footage Kerry Wayne howls a couple times on the three reed adult. I followed it up with the uh, competition howler, two reed competition howler. And boy, they lit up. And sometimes you have to give them a couple more howls or maybe a different tone. Sometimes they'll answer him, sometimes they'll answer me. So it's a good idea to have those, just those different sounds and mix them together because a lot of times it'll trigger them to howl. And a lot of times we'll swap out. If he howls, and get some dancer and we have to do some moving then I'd, I'll howl the next go around and back and forth to work those coats and keep them vocal. Uh, that's a good tip to keep in mind when you're trying to keep coats located. If, you, if you're not killing them quick or something like that and you need them to talk to you again, try changing calls or get your buddy to howl or something like that and give them that little, little deeper or higher pitched howl will, will be the deal that triggers them. And that's what happened on this. Um, and when they howled, I'm sure this one was right on top of us. I mean, all but in sight. And I thought about sitting down right there in the edge of the road. It was so close to us. But I knew it would see the truck, and probably we wouldn't get it if we tried that route. So all we did, and I pretty much recorded live time, we just slipped in here to the first spot. And you can see all we've got is this little 40-yard lane. We can see down a little bit, sit down. We swapped right back over. I'm over the shoulder. You howled. Did you howl? You I, howled on the four reed. I used the four reed. Yeah, swapped over, gave them a different, <coughs> a little different tone. And uh, what, a minute after you howl, if that? I wouldn't say a minute. I mean, it. We could hear it coming almost immediately. Comes out and, and luckily cuts out into this opening. Should be good footage. Uh, I think he wound up seeing the truck. Something boogered him right there. Well, well, you barked at him to stop at him and he wheeled. I think it was a little little too much for him, but it, either way, we got him, and uh, that's a fun hunt. Yeah. We, uh, I don't know how many stands we've made the last few days. We hunted a day and a half, two days with a dog soldier. 
had a hundred percent call up a lot of vocal action so y'all be sure to check out mfk game calls web tv and also tune in to dog soldier uh, on the sportsman channel check out those episodes we filmed with uh, steve and kevin should be some good stuff with more vocal action than uh, you probably ever heard full of some good tips too but uh as always if you want to get any of our calls try them out mfkgamecalls.com let's get this thing go to the house ain't not dragging for either no throw him in the truck